Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Jessica and we talk a lot about home decor here. So if that's your kind of thing, I would love it if you subscribe and also follow me over on Instagram. My name over there is my Jessica J. So first I wanted to announce a little update. I finally picked out a sectional. You guys, it's been a long time coming. I picked out a sectional and I did ask over on my Instagram account for you guys to help me pick out a fabric color. I had ordered 15 swatches and it came down to two two and i did ask a poll for that and you know what the ivory won just by a few votes i was really shocked and surprised to see that so the sectional won't be here until november so i will keep you guys updated once that gets here i'll do a full on review and all that all right so moving on to today's video we are going to do something a little bit different it's gonna be more vlog style because Basically, I took on too many projects or major projects at once. So nothing's really completed, nothing's really done. So I'm just gonna be taking you guys along with that process and we're gonna tackle the outdoor space today. So if you guys remember that last shop with me at CB2, I talked about not picking up anything, which I've been good with that, not picking up any unnecessary stuff and just sticking with what I need to get because I wanted to order a bird bath. So that came in, so let's check that out. Okay, I just got back in from Home Depot to get this multi guard it's a waterproof sealant so i'm hoping that this will um well let me show you what i got first this is the bird bath and um i need to put a sealant on it because a lot of people were complaining that it peels and chips so hopefully this will prevent it and extend the longevity of it we just have to figure out how to get out this crate they delivered it in this crate a few days ago. I'm gonna grab a hammer and try to pry open the top and then pull it out. And then I'm gonna take it to the backyard to spray this. And then I'll show you guys what else I got to kind of make the bird bath into a little water fountain. So the garage is a complete mess. Everything's kind of in here right now and out the way while the floors are getting done and the backyard is getting done. So it's kind of crazy in here. Okay, found the hammer. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, so getting into this bird bath ended up being a little bit easier than I thought it would be. So that's great, but I did have to get a little bit of help to get it out this thing. It's pretty heavy. And you know what? I can't help but to just laugh that I'm actually in some shorts and flip-flops in this video. I mean, I'm a SoCal girl. But during this video, it was in the triple digits. It was so hot. So first I need to wipe down any dust so that the material can stick to the bird bath. So I did end up spraying it or putting the material on in the garage garage because it was a very windy day so I just decided to open up the garage lay some trash bags down because I'm out of heart and I just laid that down and went to town with it Okay, you guys, the bird bath is so much more beautiful in person than I thought it would be. So I'll show you guys what that looks like in the space, but first we need to get some plants. All right, we made it to the nursery and the wind was blowing a little too hard. So I'm just going to do a voiceover and just kind of explain some of the plants that I'm looking at. So first up, I'm trying to find a dwarf Karakara or Karakara tree. If you guys have not tried a Karakara orange, they are amazing. And these look very, very similar, but these are actually all grapefruit. So fooled me and then i came across the meyer lemon tree meyer lemons are really good you guys so this is a regular size and then you guys can see down here is the dwarf version i really want to plant some fruit trees but i don't need big huge massive trees so i'm looking at all dwarf sizes and then i stopped at this tree because i was just curious on what kind of fruit this was and they're actually kumquats never tried one of those before so we're just gonna move right along so these right here are wax leaf privets so i know i want a privet hedge i just don't know what kind they all kind of look a little bit different and grow at different heights so if you guys can see on the right those are sweet bays and those in the middle are japanese privets I also want to bring in some star jasmine somewhere in my yard. If you guys have not smelled star jasmine, it smells amazing and I really love the way it looks. And these plants right here are Japanese boxwoods. Now, these grow really dense and tight so you can shape these into squares. You can shape them into spheres or any shape you like. They look really, really nice. I love the color of these as well. So I ended up going with the Japanese privet. There are so many different kinds of privet. There's glossy privet, there's wax leaf privet. Another option I did know 
notice or to look at after I purchased these was the glossy privet. Those actually grow a lot taller than what I picked up. The Japanese privet grows up to 12 feet high, which is perfect. It's exactly what I need. The glossy privet grows, I think I want to say 30 feet. So if you guys are needing some privacy hedges that are taller than 12 feet, which is what I have, maybe you might want to look into that. Okay, can we just take a moment? Let's ignore the dead, you know, weeds and grass over there, but the privet looks so good right here. Um, I grabbed the last three that they had in this size, so I'm hoping they're gonna get more and I'm gonna actually give them a call in a couple of days, but they look so good. And then the bird bath looks amazing. I did spray too much, so it's a little tacky. And hopefully that gets better with time but it looks really good too so i have this solar i don't know what it's called but you put it in the water and then it creates like a um water fountain so let's see how that works right now i think there's enough sun for it to get going so let me put you guys down Here's what it looks like, and it comes with different attachments for different types of streams of water. These are filters, I believe. Okay, so I'm really not sure why it's going like this. I'm gonna have to read the directions, but it's cute. <laughs> And it also lights up so at night the lights will come up. So as you guys can see, the water fountain just kind of sways from side to side. But the thing with this bird bath, the middle kind of comes up. It's a little bit more elevated than the sides. So I did figure out that if I just don't add too much water, it kind of just settles right in the middle perfectly and it doesn't sway from side to side, which really works out. Okay, night mode just came on. And look how good it looks. so pretty I love it okay it's the next morning and it's going I guess it just really needs to charge in the Sun so if you guys are thinking about purchasing that solar water fountain from Amazon, just know that if the bowl isn't big enough, some of the water may spill out. If the sun is really shining, the water really comes shooting out of that thing. I'm actually going to move the water fountain. It's gonna be closer to those bushes. So if water spills out, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. Um, hopefully it won't. All right, guys, we reached the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a little bit different. So you guys let me know down below if you're enjoying just seeing the space come together versus a before and after which before and after is coming as well. So as always, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have any video suggestions, also leave that down below and I will see you guys soon in a new video. Bye.